Hello everyone! For our today's lesson, I will be discussing to you about working with special effects. This is part 2 under quarter 3. When we talk about special effects, we are talking about extrude, lens, and power clip. In the next video, you're about to see on how are we going to utilize or use or apply those special effects in our drawing in Corel Draw. So let's start now. First, you open the Corel Draw. Let's say, for example, I will be typing ICT. So I will click the text tool and type ICT. If you would like to change the font, you can do so. To apply extreme special effects, choose the text, click the extrude under the interactive blend tool, Then, you will be able to see a mouse pointer plus the extrude effects beside the mouse pointer. That means that you're now ready to move or apply extrude effect by simply dragging the mouse diagonally. You can see already what will be the output by simply dragging the mouse. See? So, that is a good example of extrude. If you would like to modify or change the position of extrude, you just have to go to Preset, Tab, then choose one of the extrude effects that you can see there. Basically, when we talk about extrude, that refers to the position of the 3D effect, whether it is on top, at the bottom, left, or right. So, example, I will be using extrude number 6. See what will happen to this text. See? You can still move the extrude effect by simply dragging this line. See? Or, if you would like to change the color of the extrude effect, you can click this button, the color button. Then click from, example, I will be choosing the green one. C. Two. Let's say, for example, yellow. See what will happen there. So that is a good example of extrude special effect. The next special effect is now what we call the lens effect. So let's say, for example, I'm going to draw a star. Then. I will just multiply the star. So let's just wait. After multiplying the star, you're now ready to proceed with the next step, and that is to draw a circle on top of those stars. Make sure that if you're going to draw a circle, there will be no fill color, meaning to say the color should be clear. See this one? So that is the circle. To apply the lens effect, Go to the Effects menu, click Lens, or you can simply press Alt F3. After clicking Lens or pressing Alt F3, you will now be able to see the different commands under Lens Effect to your Docker. Let's say for example, I will be choosing Fish Eye. See what will happen to this illustration. Click Fish Eye. See? From flat, it becomes somewhat similar to a lens one. Then you can click frozen and viewpoint. That means that the stars 
that has been drawn to your working area will go whenever you can see the circle. Let's say, for example, I'm going to drag the circle. See what will happen. The star will follow. So that is the lens effect. For the last effect now is what we call the power clip. To apply a power clip, let's say, for example, I will be typing LR and DS. Then change again the font. For the benefit of this exercise, I'm not going to change anymore the fill color and the light color. But it's up to you if you'd like to modify the color, the fill color, and the line color. The next thing that you're going to do is to insert or import a picture that you would like to place inside this text, the LRNDS. So to do that, you go to the File menu, click Import. Then choose the picture that you would like to import. Since that is LRNDS, I'm going to choose the logo for LRNDS and click Insert. Now, please take note of this. If what will be the size of your text, whether the width or the height, that should be the size of your imported bitmap. So, example. See? Now, let us change the color gray, the fill color, into this one, the LRMDS. To do that, click the bitmap, go to the effects menu, and click power clip. After that, click place inside container. From a mouse pointer, it will turn to a black arrow. That means that Corel Draw is asking you where do you want to place the imported media or clip art. Since I would like to place the LRMDS logo to the text LRMDS, I will click here. See? It moves again. You go to the effects menu, click power clip, place inside the container, choose where you would like to place the text or the bitmap. Then it will automatically move. So that is what we call the power clip. The last one is what we call now the perspective. So how are we going to do a perspective one? Let's say for example, I'm going to do five rectangles. So I already have five rectangles. What I need to do is to duplicate this five rectangles. So select Control D, then move it to the right panel of your screen. Next thing that we're going to do now is to apply perspective. To apply perspective, you can go to the effects or effects menu. If you will not be able to see the command here, you can always go to group. So that is arranged in group. So you have to group first this five rectangle. Or you can simply press Control G. G for group. See, so once I move this one, they all goes together. So just do the same with the second object. Then Control G. Then it will automatically move from one place to another at the same time and not one at a time. Now, how are we going to apply a perspective? To apply a perspective, choose the image or the picture that you would like to apply a perspective. Then after that, go to the effects menu. Then add perspective. See, you will now be able to see a grid lines 
Meaning to say, you can drag one of those grid lines for you to be able to form a perspective. So example, I will be choosing this one. I will be moving. See? As if this is a door. If you would like to apply on this one, just please click first the pick tool, then click the object that you would like to apply a perspective. Go to the effects menu, then click add perspective. Then suddenly, from the white boxes, it will turn into a black circles. That means that you're now ready to extrude or add perspective to your drawing. So example. See? So that is perspective. And those are the different tools or different special effects in Corel Draw. I hope you learned a lot. Bye everyone. See you in our next video lesson. God bless and keep safe.